All right, guys, I'm going to go over the, uh, the file. If you're downloading the file, I just want to go through a few things that you need to know before you purchase the file to make sure that, that you can use it. Uh, the, the file was designed using Lightburn software, and I have burned several of these things using my Xtool D1. Uh, the carousel, the, the burn file is for the top half of this, the, the, the part that, that swivels. Uh, in order to complete the build, you will have to have some you know, basic tools and a little bit of woodworking knowledge to make this thing uh, into what you want it to be. The only parts that aren't included with the burn file that you'll require is a piece of wood for the base, uh, optional padded feet to keep it from scratching your countertop. You can use, a, these are like cork or felt, but you can use the rubber ones to keep it from sliding. Uh, there's a, a wooden dowel that runs through the center of the carousel that lines up with the holes that are in the burn template and it comes out in the top. The difference that you've got to that you've got need to pay attention to when you're putting this thing together is that the top and bottom both have the same hole that's set up for the dowel to sit in, but the very top has a real tiny hole right here. Uh, you don't have to use this if you don't want. Uh, when you sit this down on the dowel, it'll sit the way that the spacer is cut. It'll sit on there and it, lets, it allows it to turn and uh, keeps, it, uh, keeps it centered. But the problem is, is if you try to hold it like this, it will the, the carousel will slide off the dowel. So what I've done is I've put a small hole in the, uh, in the burn file in the center of the top plate. And what that does is allows you to take a, a screw and screw it into the top of the wood dowel that you can see. You'll be able to see it through here. Use a small uh, drill bit, or you can just screw the screw in if you want. But I use a small drill bit, and I drill into the top of the dowel, and I put me a small screw in there to make sure that it doesn't turn loose. When you're putting this thing together, I'm going to go through the, and explain things to you. You're going to see one of the files is called locking rings. This is the locking ring that holds everything together. Inside this locking ring, there is the, the plate, the, the notch plates. Those notch plates, you take those, and there's a notch on each one of the panels here. And so when you line the, the notches up, you will use glue. I use a Type Bond 3 uh, regular woodworking glue. And put you a little dab of glue on the back of that tab and press it into there. Uh, one thing that I have done in the past that works pretty well uh, for putting this together because it takes a lot of coordination or some teamwork, one of the two, is you can use painter's tape to, like, as you put these pieces in place, you can go around, put your glue, place them in place, and then sit, make sure that they're all flushed in and let that, that painter's tape sit until the glue gets tacky or sticky enough that you can slide the locking ring over the top of it. What the locking ring does is just got a little tab that presses against this and holds it into that notch that's in the base. And so that holds everything together. Uh, the upper upward part of this carousel, there's only, like I said, there's one screw right here. Everything else is, is simply wood glue and snap rings locked together. So once you get this plate and you get the panels attached to it and you put the lock ring on there, then the lock ring will sit up, up with this even with this top you, you line everything up they're cut to exactly the same size and then you'll put a layer of glue between the outer plate and the inner plate to hold these two together so that they don't come off you know independently both ends are the same as far as the process of putting it together uh, and if you have any problems uh, send me a message or message my page at uh, Clack Custom Creations on Facebook I'll try to do a more detailed uh, put together a video. I didn't really plan on selling this thing digitally uh, when I built these, but some people have asked for the for the file, and so I just want to put it out there, but I want to make sure that you know what you're getting and that you know how to put it together. It's, it's pretty fun. It's easy. This thing's light. Uh, even with my piece of wood that I put on here, it's, it's like maybe two, two and a half pounds. Uh, so, like I said, any wood work, you're just going to need to drill a hole for your dowel to sit in and stick the, push the dowel up and make sure it's cut to the right length and put it all together and you get a, a nice little K-cut carousel to hold all your flavors. And uh, so far they've been a pretty good hit. Uh, 
But if you have any more problems or questions, feel free to send me a message and I'll get back with you as quick as I can. Thank you and have a good day.